Hello, great people, African traveler here, and today I have a host of Allah, who's the, you're the engineer? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a facility engineer. You're the facility engineer for the solar taxi. So, guys, these are, they offer very amazing uh, experience. As you know, I'm an EV enthusiast, and growing EVs in Africa is something that is passionate to me, and I'm going to show you guys who are doing it well in Africa, and today I'm in Ghana. So, uh, Savala. Yeah, so, okay. yeah, it's a very there. common name in my language, in my country as well. Really? Yeah. Wow. What, what, in the what, Western Kenya. What, what What would it mean in your language? No, it's not in my language. My one of my in my country. Okay. One yes, of One of the one of the communities okay. there from Western okay. Kenya. Yes. That, that's interesting to know. So, Savala, what is solar taxi about? Okay. So, uh, generally speaking, and as as simple as it's. Uh, it's it puts it out, solar taxi. Yes, yes. It's, uh, but sometimes people get the name wrong. Solar taxi, is that what only taxis? No, not exactly. <laughs> I almost do downloaded the Uber app for solar taxis. Like, exactly. Is it, uh, is it like Uber? Is, is like it like Uber? Uber? Then I went yeah. and read about it online and I got a different perspective. We are, we are one of many things. So, mm -hmm. uh, But uh, what, what we stand for is electric mobility, basically. Mm -hmm. So the name solar taxi is sort of metaphorical and it's trying to portray a story mm -hmm. of uh, transporting people on yeah. renewable energy. Transporting yeah. people to renewable energy. Exactly. So the company is a solar taxi, but our vehicles are not necessarily taxis. We have mm -hmm. SUVs, we have sedans, we have crossovers, we have different kinds of you have electric different vehicles. kinds of cars. Yes, we have motorcycles. motorcycles. So uh, electric motorcycles, electric scooters. So um, that, that's basically... So how, how, did, how did the company start? Okay, so a company, like every other great, you know, uh, impact, impactful company in the world yeah. today, started with an idea. Yeah. Yes, our founder and our co-founder uh, traveled around the world a bit, you know, yeah. had some exposure with renewable energies, electric vehicles, and I'm, I'm sure other people had those ideas too, but... Uh, Implementing is a different thing. Exactly. So that's at least the implementation of that dream. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, they, they, they realized that in, in Ghana and in Africa especially, uh, everything, I mean all around the world, but for us because uh, of how well trade is and how Africa doesn't seem to be on the losing end of world trade, uh, fuel costs affect everything we do, even agriculture. Very true. Because Very food true. and produce have to be moved from where they are grown or cultivated the to the market, and yeah. that's transportation. And you realize in Ghana that when uh, uh, fuel prices increase, food prices are going up to almost immediately. Yeah. And you know, uh, transportation affects everything. So, um, I mean, but 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 the, the so other it started side, around in Kumasi around twenty. Yeah, around late twenty eighteen. So late twenty eighteen. So well, why Kumasi not Accra? Well, so uh, th 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 that is because of a, 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 a short background. Uh, so mm -hmm. Solar Taxi is the brainchild of you know our, our founder and co-founder were uh, are also the founders of Kumasi Hive, which is mm -hmm. like a, a hub, like a technology innovation hub, hub. A center. Oh. Okay. Yeah, so that, that's where Solar Taxi was born. Those ideas were, you know. Do you still have operations in Kumasi? Sorry? Do you still have operations in Kumasi? Yes, yes, yes. So actually, our head office, in a sense, is in Kumasi. Wow. So this, this wow. is just our Accra our, our <laughs> our our office. Exactly. Wow. Yes. It's amazing. So 2018. And right now, how many uh, solar cars and uh, motorcycles do you have? Okay, so presently, we have about 16 electric vehicles on the road. We 16 have, electric vehicles, which, which, which um, different types do you say? Okay, so we have uh, one compact mm -hmm. SUV. Yeah. We have 10, 10 crossovers. So they're like an SUV. They are not, they are not a sedan, they're not an SUV. Cross, it's almost an SUV. It's a cross, um, crossover. And then we have uh, two hatchbacks. Two hatchbacks, and we have uh, four naval electric vehicles. Mm. So that, that's, that's our fleet size of electric vehicles, but we have 140 electric motorcycles. 140? 140. Yeah. So 140, how do you, what do they do most of the time, the motorcycle? Okay, so our motorcycles are usually uh, working on a, a lease to own model. Mm -hmm. Where we, we, So we, we it's, it's a whole value chain. We, we, we take up most of the value chain. The riders, we train and recruit riders, mm -hmm. help them become licensed, conduct safety trainings for them. And then we lease the the rider and the motorcycle as a service.
to companies and need that. For example, Junior, um, DHL. So it's the one forty motorcycles. You guys own them. Yes, we own them. We and own lease them, them to, to to online companies, exactly. online companies, e-commerce businesses that are into delivery and all that. Yes. And uh, it seems like the motorcycle business is growing very fast, uh, considering the number of motorcycles that you guys have right now. That's true. So how how do you uh, do you assemble the motorcycle locally, mm. or you import them? Okay, so our motorcycles are one hundred percent fully assembled in Ghana. 100% assembled in Ghana. Yes, designed by us and assembled here. Most of our parts are procured yeah. from, I mean, we procure them from abroad. Yeah. But uh, the specifications are designed by engineers. By engineers here. here. Exactly. Wow. Wow, amazing. What about the cars? Yes, uh, so for now we do not assemble electric vehicles here, mm -hmm. but it's in our future plan. Okay. And we actually have a rollout plan for our, our semi knockdown assembly plant. And uh, we've already started demonstration, so we took a, a car apart and put it together. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're on course. We have we are in the process of signing MOUs with some key manufacturers. Yes, and uh, because we are looking at you know um, one of the key things for us is affordable. Yeah. The, you know, electric vehicles have comparatively a higher initial cost. So we are looking at you know cars with. A Chinese price, but yeah. a European the poly quality, a European <laughs> quality, and there are a lot of that, you know, being used in Europe, you know, manufacturing in China, but for the European market. For the European market, exactly. that's true. That's true. The other question: What are the biggest challenges you guys face? Uh, well, <laughs> like like any uh, pioneering, you know, or emerging market business yeah. will face. We currently we are facing a number of challenges. One of them is that. Uh, uh, naturally, we don't have a, a very, very good cooperation from the government, and and even you'll be you'll be surprised to know that uh, our electric vehicles are considered luxury vehicles when we are importing them at the port. So we pay extra <laughs> duty, duty on them when our aim is to actually make them afford more affordable. You know. I think it's the same case in my country as well. Wow. <laughs> yeah, somebody with an electric car told me it's like hey. When you went through the port authority, the other uh, government uh, tax authorities, like they don't know what to charge it. It's like it's a premium. I tell so you. So instead of uh, encouraging people to, you know, go this side, That's to true. encourage reduce That's the uh, air pollution and stuff. That's very true. You know, electric vehicles have a, a very huge social impact, environmental mm -hmm. impact, very huge one. You know, and uh, well, I think I mean all that's important, but. When we speak to people, yeah. the feedback we get is that you know people are more interested in the fact that they are cheaper to run or to own. Yes, and yeah. uh, from our calculation, from the feedback we have from some of our clients, yeah. people are saving up to seventy percent of what they spend on fuel, and, fuel. and that's tremendous. That's 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 wow. that's, that's great. You yes. know, in the long term, we may have, as you say, the initial cost may be slightly higher, exactly. but you'll save. Uh, in the long term. Yeah, exactly, and, and I mean, I mean, with the kind of manufacturers we are dealing with, yeah. uh, we are able to offer, you know, uh, electric vehicles are in the same mm -hmm. price range as your with the same for the same class size of vehicle. So, for instance, if you want a seven seater SUV, we get you a seven seater SUV electric yeah. vehicle for around the same price bracket. Yes. Convenience in terms of charging. What is the plan? Or how do people are supposed to? How are people supposed to charge the SUV or the motorcycle, considering that they haven't seen such in a petrol station like in the West? Very, very good question. So um, for now, uh, we there are different levels of charging yeah. in, in the EV space. Uh, for now, we we offer up, up to about level two mm -hmm. uh, ch uh, home charges for uh, our clients and. Uh, all our clients have level two charges installed at their premises. Some are businesses or their office premises. Some yeah. are uh, individual so And uh, for now, because the fleet size is not large, uh, that is almost sufficient, you know, mm. for their charging needs. People, you 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 get home at the close of day, you plug your car in, you go to bed. They use OCPP. They are smart. When it's hundred percent power cut oh. off, you wake up the next day have hundred percent. But so the motorcycle can run for how long? The motorcycle can run for 100 km. 400 we have km. different models, 100 km, 150, 200. 
Yes, but 100 km works well for the delivery because they don't exhaust that range in a, in a, in a day. In a day. Yes. So what about, um, what do you call it? The, I saw the taxis, they also have a solar panel on top of it. Exactly. How, yeah. How? So that, that, that was one of our first concepts, electric vehicles, designed by solar taxi actually. Mm-hmm. So they are neighborhood electric vehicles. They are good for enclaves. They are, they are good for uh, intercity commutes. Mm. Yes, so they are designed to do about 150 km. That's not much of a good range for mm. personal, you know, you because I mean what from 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 work to home for me is not up to yeah, 150. Very, but true. the fact that it puts me on the edge all the time that I always need to charge. You know, if if we have we have one of our um, electric vehicle crossovers, it has a range of 300 km. Uh, wow. If I'm going to use that. I can actually drive for four days before I need to recharge. So you know, the, 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 the comparatively, you know, it's more convenient to have the crossover. The crossover. Yes. And, and um, there's the solar panel on top that's, save the batteries. Exactly, that's true. Yeah, so, especially uh, in a crowd, there's always sun. There's, there's always sun. It's hot. <laughs> you have to use it. Yeah. So uh, the the concept behind that was that you know, um, the solar right now integrating solar to electric vehicles. Is one of the you know barriers of the yeah. of the industry. The industry has to break through because solar needs space, solar needs area, mm. and the, the, generally the area on the roof of a vehicle is not enough mm. to give you the desired output, the power output you need, or the energy uh, to, to suit the energy demand of the vehicle. But for neighborhood electric vehicles, they are small. They use smaller motors, smaller battery packs. So solar works for them for now. But you know the name solar taxi is because. Um, what we offer is that we offer solar, we've designed a, a setup called a configuration called a solar charging hub. Uh, it consists of an inverter, batteries, and a solar panel. Mm-hmm. Very compact. We have some outside, I'll show you. Yeah. Uh, and that's why it's solar taxi, because the, 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 the long term goal, the ultimate goal is that uh, even the charging of your electric vehicle will be off grid. We want to offer that as a service, as our main flagship service. So you can have off-grid charging of electricity. Yeah, I think uh, in the long term that is what Africa needs. We always have sunlight. Yeah. If I want to go up country, I can travel as a charge my battery, so you don't need to stop. Somewhere. Exactly. That would be amazing. Uh, if you come to my country, I'll be among the first <laughs> uh, customer for you guys. So, is there any plan to to roll out to other African countries or in Accra? What is the long term plan? Well, yes. Um, we don't even consider it as a long term plan. We, we, we very much consider it one of our, our, our few next steps because uh, currently we have plans to, to uh, set up an, an assembly plant, low volume, low mix assembly plant, mm-hmm. somewhere in the northern belt. And the plan for that assembly plant that is supposed to, is going to, uh, you know, uh, you know, export electric motorcycles yeah. to uh, the, the countries in the northern part of West Africa, you know, Burkina Faso, mm. Mali, Niger, where Chad, where motorcycles are the major means of transportation. Uh, so we're going to help our African neighbors, our West African neighbors to also transition to electric, get affordable transportation uh, options. Like that. That's amazing. So the owners are Ghanaian born? Yes, yes, yes. They are uh, foreigners? Not at all. <laughs> it's amazing to know. Yes, yeah. uh, they were born and raised in Ghana. Born, born and raised in Ghana. Wow, it's amazing. Yes, it's so an it inspiring is. story. And I hope to see you guys, uh, you know, raise the African flag higher to the world. Th- th- thank you for your encouragement. So, yeah. Uh, so, I don't know if you can show me around with sure. the car. Sure. Thank you. We have a, a riding academy. We oh. Riding. Uh, we, we are trying to have a, a wider, you know, reach and uh, we are trying to make sure that it's more beneficial to the community. Wow. Yes, yeah, so we train riders. We also train uh, young women in the community. I saw it's part of your goal, so gender equality. Exactly. So we have something called the Female Engineers Academy. So uh, the, currently we have the second cohort having an internship with us. So you notice that they're the ones in the... Um, Reflector in the high, vis- high yeah. visibility vests. Yes. Wow. Yeah. So those are engineers. Yeah, they are intense. They are intense. 
So you yeah. also teach your, your your students how to pre repair the car. The, the yes. So the, because comprehensively. Ah. Yes. Oh, that's something very we thoughtful. Teach, huh? We teach design. Yeah. We teach battery architecture. Mm -hmm. We teach uh, routine maintenance. We teach corrective maintenance, preventive maintenance. Everything in the electric vehicle industry, engineering wow. space. Wow. Yes. We, are even, very... we are even going into software development. Yes, how to program uh, battery management systems, yeah, and all that. Guys, that is very thoughtful because some of the uh, importers, uh, were, like in Kenya, some of the importers uh, in Kenya who've been imported electric cars, the biggest challenge is where to repair the electric cars. So you guys have gone a notch a step ahead and, uh, you know, it's like you're preparing for the future in a big way. I tell you. I like, <laughs> I like your ambition. So these are the taxis? Yes, so these are the neighborhood electric vehicles. Neighborhood electric vehicles. Yes, designed by Colata. They are good for an enclave, like a university campus, you know, because of their range. They, they, and, they have a, and they have a solar panel on top. Solar panel on top. Exactly. So, so these, you don't need to charge? Um, no, they still have a charger. They still have a charger. So hmm. once you are charging, so they charge faster because whilst you are charging, it's charging through the solar panels as well. So it's the battery is being charged at the two, yes, they are, from they are, two intervals. There are two in inlets, exactly. Two inlets at the same time. Exactly. Let me just show you guys what I mean. So you can see here, with this charger, yes. here, with this charger, yes. and there's also a solar panel here. So, so far, these are used for what? Uh, currently, these are used for company rounds, company operations. Um, yes. and, uh, so mostly by staff? Mostly by staff to move around to carry out company operations. But uh, we are also signing some MOUs with um, uh, some key educational inst institutions, especially universities, yeah. where they can use this for, you know, um, campus uh, commuting, moving commuting. around campus, yes. Wow. To, to reduce transportation costs. So guys, Solar Taxi, one of the main uh, goal to achieve is to have gender balance. So that's why I'm having Belinda here. Hi, <laughs> my name is Belinda. I'm one of the engineers here at Solar Taxi. Oh, okay. So you're welcome to the ad. Thank and you. And in the ad, this yeah. is where we do our assembly line. And in mm -hmm. the assembly line, we have four main sections. Yeah. We have the chassis section. We have the electrical section. We also have the accessory section and the cover installation. Wow. So in the chassis section. So this is the yes. chassis. You guys say chassis? Yes. <laughs> we call it chassis. But still, oh, still the same. So in the chassis section. <laughs> <laughs> that's where we put all the metal frames. So all the all, all the motorbikes are assembled here. Yes, we assemble everything here from scratch. That's where we put all the metallic parts together. That's one part, part of the chassis, the chassis section. section. Then when you come to the electrical. For the electrical section and the accessory section, yeah. we work together mm -hmm. because you can't just fix in the uh, accessories without going hand in hand with the electrical. So when it comes to the accessory section, that's when you have the headlights, the DC to DC. You have the main cable, mm -hmm. the main cable where all the lines are coming. Some are going to the dashboard, some are going to the tail lights here. Mm -hmm. We have some going to the headlight as well. And some are coming to the ignition key. Yes, yes. For the electrical section, we have the motor, uh, the, the battery. The battery. Yes, this is a lithium battery. We have two batteries connected in parallel. And we also have an ESC controller where the lines are being connected to, to power the battery. And the last but not the least is the cover installation. The cover installation is with the delivery box. Oh, the delivery yeah, box. Yeah, the delivery box. All the plastic covers that you see here, it's part of the cover installation. Cover installation. Yes, and this is from, this is add beautification to the bike. Wow. Yes. So, so with this, you just the whole the, the bike is completely. Yes, it's cool. completely assembled here. So after everything, we do a no load test and load test to make sure that the bike is stable for operation before we give it out to our clients. To our clients. Yes. Please. How long does it take when you start? the fast, uh, the chases, until the end. How long does it take one bike to be complete? 
for one bike to be yes. complete, I'll say probably like within 10 to 15 minutes, we are done assembling one bike. Wow. So within a day, we assemble like five to six bikes. Yes. Five to six bikes. Yes, in a five day. to six bikes in a day. Wow. Wow. It's amazing. Yes. Thank you. So, um, do you also train people to drive? Uh, yes, we have. You bikes. can drive a motorbike? <laughs> Not really. Not really. <laughs> I want but, you to teach um, me. <laughs> so thank you thank you so much Welcome. belinda i really appreciate it you guys um waiting for you to see you guys in my country i come Surely from kenya, kenya. Oh, yeah i would love to be there thank you what do you know about kenya Where? what do you know about kenya what do i know about yeah. kenya? i know it's a very beautiful place mm -hmm. with um the people are nice to us well yeah and i just want to be there <laughs> i just want to see what they are saying about the place and i want to feel how the place is like yeah yes. welcome welcome you love it yeah, trust me you love you, it thank you thank you see you oh, i'm in Char a cherry tigo 3 and e yeah. cherry, cherry tigo is the is this is, the, is the series of suvs uh -huh. made by cherry but they specifically made the 3xc for the european market uh, uh, yes to enter the european ev space wow so this cherry, cherry tigo is an ICE car started. started the engine. Uh, the, the engine already started? started. It's already started. It will just tell you with this. You don't guys, we, really can't, we can't hear a thing. <laughs> car is okay. You know, I mean, they, they can just kick in. Oh my with, god. <laughs> with our river setting in you camera. Just look at the reverse. Have it on the dashboard. Wow. So we can move it. Guys, apart from the, from the tires, you can't feel anything. Wow. It's amazing. Uh, Nissan. Nissan. Oh. So if you know the Nissan March or mm -hmm. Nissan Micra, Micra, this is built on the same platform. It has uh, up to 80% sim similar parts with the Nissan March. The only different thing is the electric drive frame. Oh. And do they produce it in Luxon or this is the, among the fast in Ghana? Yeah, well. This, this does look. Man, look at the interior, guys. 